Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It in the Cards Love Tarot reading for May 2023. This is a love reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every single day. I could not do this without all of you. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So those are going to bring in aspects of money, love, career, moving, anything you could ask about. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading is the only day of the month that I do a love reading. Next week on Monday, it's going to be something entirely different. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. Now we are starting things off a little differently today. We're going to do a love oracle, then the tarot. All right, what advice do you have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. All right. We're not going to overly shuffle because that should be enough. And you have here simple acts of kindness. So again, keeping in mind ways to attract the love of your life into your life. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you're going to attract more, even if it's not directly to a person. But if you're in a relationship... Again, even that in terms of turning the relationship back on, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So making time for love, being in the place where you're fully ready to receive and being open to the idea of love. Because if we're four of pentacles, you know, way, our way through things, we might not attract. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. And so no, not only is it around you, you are love, Cancer. You are an eternal divine being. So this is you. So um, so let's see here now what the tarot has to say. I won't shuffle too much, but we do need some. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love please what does cancer need to know about love for the best and highest good of all involved with cancer messages for cancer about love please all right we will draw three cards to represent your energy three cards for the person you are attracting three cards on the advice your energy is the temperance the seven of wands the Hierophant. Interesting. Very committed energy. Their energy is the King of Wands, the Chariot, and you've got, they've got the Eight of Pentacles. Also very committed energy. The advice is the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the World. Now, for some reason, I, I looked at this Two of Cups, and I, I don't usually take the shadow uh, cards in this reading, but I felt like it was important, especially in a love reading, well, twos are about partnerships, and there's something here with the Eight of Swords. I do feel like if you've been restricted in, in terms of work or some kind of unfinished emotional business, whether it's you or the other person, you're both ready to commit. And I do feel like things are going to move forward. But if there's something with that Eight of Swords, because that's momentum and rhythm and vibration, you've got a perfect match here. You've got somebody coming in. And truthfully, their energy matches yours. I mean, it really truly is a fit. So if there's something going on, we'll have to address that in a minute about opening up. And we talked about the Four of Pentacles. I would have really been delighted to see that one down there. But the Eight of Swords will do. So we've got the Archangel Michael here and also to the Hierophant. This represents you, Cancer. I'm telling you, they're going to be lining up with this energy. And so with the energy of temperance, that's all about healing. It's love, but it's also going with the flow, being in flow. And so I do feel like with the seven of wands, we have to be a little bit careful of force manifesting. You know, really, because that, that seven of wands can be a bit willful. It is about expansion and growth. And sevens are a great number in the tarot. They have one too with the energy of the chariot. By the way, they have your energy in their in their energy. They have you and them, however you want to say that. So you have here Cancer. You've got Sagittarius. You have Taurus here. Leo. You've got, and especially too, you've got four major arcana. 
It's a beautiful love story. So I do feel like it's like if you, the, the seven of wands for some of you too, it reminds me a bit, I get kind of a nine of wands as well. Like don't quit five minutes before that miracle happens. If you've given up on love, if you've said it's just not in the cards for me, well, I'm gonna tell you, yes, it is in the cards. And so the Hierophant is truly a time of commitment. It is a high moral, moral ground. So I do feel like you're not here to settle but you're also, too, not here to dabble in anything that just doesn't feel right to you, that doesn't feel like it's meaningful. And so I do feel like you're here to attract a high vibrational relationship, and that's exactly what you're going to do. Um, but with the Hierophant and the energy of temperance, both very deeply spiritual energies. So be very clear in terms of meditate, connect, get yourself centered and then do your asking. And it, it truly is about the, the kind of relationship and characteristics that you're looking for. Because for some of you too, there may be something with your own foundation here and, and being with too many projects, you know, picking up people who are not really a match. Because with this, it's saying you deserve an absolute match. So whoever you're bringing in, they're going to fit that bill, boy. With their energy, they're very solid. This is a very mature person. doesn't have to mean that they're old, but I do feel like they're very responsible. They may be somebody too, even if they're not chronologically very old, they may have been somebody who's worked for a very long time. Like they got a job when they were like 11 or 12. And they've always been someone who's taken care of things in their life. They don't, you're, they're not going to find a bunch of old you know, undealt with business, unfinished emotional or in debt or other parts of their life where they've got a lot of things they need to attend to. This is somebody who really has attention to detail as well. And they may be too with this, very successful in their career, very well traveled, somebody who's well spoken. They may actually speak more than one language. Um, I do feel like whoever this is, though, they expand. They are interested and curious. And I do get, too, maybe they've traveled a lot around Europe. I feel like they've got an interest in culture and seeing things and understanding other people. Um, but not in a way that's like, it's not showy. It's just like, it's just kind of who they are. They're sort of a quiet humility. I get that Eight of Pentacles kind of energy where they build up a lot, but they don't need everyone around them to see it, right? They're not gonna be the person driving down Rodeo Drive, revving their engine so everybody looks. That's not who this is. I do feel like though with this, like I said, they've got a lot of wonderful experiences to share and they're ready to share their life with somebody. Now the chariot energy, uh, that also can be a bit willful. You both have it. They, You both have these two sevens. And of course, this is your energy as well. Um, but I do feel like with this, they're trying to say it's law of attraction energy. And so it's bringing heaven to earth. Guess what their heaven in is? It's you. This person is manifesting you. If you've already met them, I do feel like you've stolen their heart. And it really, truly, this is a relationship where they say, this is what it's all about. And I feel like, too, you will be able to trust this person very easily. They don't have a bunch of you know, old stuff hanging out there, old relationships. They're not going to get texts out of nowhere that they have to, you know, try to answer you about and explain. There's nothing to explain here. They're going to be totally an open book. And with that King of Wands, though, it's very charismatic energy. You have a wonderful chemistry with this person. Like I said, they're a go-getter. They're adventurous. They like to try new things. Um, but I also feel like, too, especially with the chariot, they're also protective. So, with the um, energy and the advice here, it's time to start a new cycle. So whatever this damn Eight of Swords is, wherever you feel restriction in your life, they're telling you, let's two of wands that. Let's take a, the card of the visionary and take that blindfold off and really see that anything is possible for you. There's no limits here. And it's also, too, with the Two of Wands, it's looking into the future. It's planning a future. And we mentioned before, we also have this Two of Cups here, too, which is, a, you know, it's a, an energy of partnerships and that perfect union. So the Two of, of Wands tells us that's about to expand. And with the energy of the world, that is complete bliss. That is nirvana. It is truly being head over heels in love. 
And you do have cards of travel here. You've got it a few different times. And so even on the mundane level, if you're in a relationship, it can even be like moving or buying a car together, something like that. Or if you're in a relationship and you say, I'm no, but they're going to go with me on a test drive and look at this car with me, then there you go. The cards don't lie. And they pick up all the fine details too. the stuff that we say is just everyday stuff. Sometimes it's meaningful, but I will say on a more on a, a broader broader uh, viewpoint with the world. It truly is a place of, of a wonderful success and just feeling like this is it. The real freedom, knowing that you found somebody that you can have a real relationship with, a true partnership with. So let's see here, Cancer, what the angels have to say for you. Messages for Cancer, please. What else does Cancer need to know about love? What advice do you have for cancer about love? All right, messages for cancer. Remain positive. So again, those of you that related to that giving up on love, they're trying to tell you it's your point of attraction. If you believe, ask, believe, receive, know that there are 8 billion people running around this planet get more information so for somebody here too you may need to have a conversation um you have great energy aligned though now i know people don't love this timeline a year from now but i'm telling you it's like a year from now you're going to look back at this and say you are in a completely different place and it's wonderful so we have here reconsider all right so sometimes when you see that it's telling you, especially with that seven of wands that can be so willful, be open, be open to new paths, new people. And believe you me, the universe will answer you. Good things are on the way, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.